ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೆ ನಷ್ಟ ಸಭದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತಿ ಋತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿರ್ನೈಷ್ಟಕೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಮ್ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬಾಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ಟೆನ್ ಎಂಟೈಟಲ್ ದ ಸಮಂ ಬೋಣಂ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ದ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಿ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ I will read the text 16, then we will recite together text 17. Sanjay, adjust karo. <clears throat> text 16. Visirja sira sipadam vedyam aham chatu karai Anunaya vidudaste bhyar ಯತ್ಯ ದೌತ್ಯೈರ್ಮುಕುಂದಾತ್ ಸ್ವಕೃತೈಗವಿಶ್ರಿತ್ತಾಪತ್ಯಪತ್ತನ್ಯಲೋಕ ವ್ಯಸ ವ್ಯಸಜ್ರೀ ವ್ಯಸಸೃಜತ್ತಕೃತಚೇತ ಕಿನ್ನು ಸಂದೇಯ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಫೀಟ್ ಐ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ you expertly learned diplomacy from mukunda and now you come as his messenger with flattering words but he abandoned those who for his sake alone gave up their children husbands and all other relations he simply he is simply ungrateful why should i make up with him now purport according to shila vishnu chakravarti this verse illustrates the qualities of sanjalpa as described by shila rupa goswami in the following verse of his ujjwala neelamani 14190 just kya kala charan prabhu is going doing multiple roles see echo is coming <clears throat> sollum taya gahanaya kaya pi aakshepa mudraya tasya krita gyata duktai sanjalpa katito buddhahi the learned describe sanjalpa as that speech which decries with a deep irony and insulting gestures of the beloved's ungratefulness and so on shri vishnu chakravarti points out that the word adi and so on implies the perception in one in one's lover of hard heartedness of an inimical attitude and of a complete lack of love text 17 mrugayo ho eva kapi indram vivyade labdha dharma striyam 
ಅಕೃತ ವಿರೂಪ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಜಿತ ಕಾಮಯಾಂ ಬಲಿ ಅಪಿ ಬಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಅವೇಸ್ತಯತ್ ದ್ವಾಕ್ಷವತ್ ತತ್ ಅಲಂ ಅಸಿತ ಶಕ್ಯಹೈ ದುಸ್ತಜ ತತ್ ಕತ ಅತ್ತಃ ಮೃಗಯೂರೀವ ಕಪೀಂದ್ರಂ ವಿವ್ಯದೇ ಲಬ್ಧಧರ್ಮ ಮೃಗಯೂರೀವ ಕಪೀಂದ್ರಂ ವಿವ್ಯದೇ ಲಬ್ಧಧರ್ಮ ಸ್ತ್ರಿಯಂ ಅಕೃತ ವಿರೂಪ ಸೃಜೀತ ಕಾಮಯಾಂ ಸ್ತ್ರಿಯಂ ಅಕೃತ ವಿರೂಪ ಸೃಜೀತ ಕಾಮಯಾಂ ಬಲಿಮಿ ಬಲಿ ಮತ್ವಾ ವೇಷ್ಟಯ್ಯಧ್ವಾಕ್ಷವಧ್ಯ ಬಲಿಮಿ ಬಲಿ ಮತ್ವಾ ವೇಷ್ಟಯ್ಯಧ್ವಾಕ್ಷವಧ್ಯ ತದಲಂ ಅಸಿತ ಶಕ್ಯೈ ದುಸ್ತ್ಯಜಸ್ತಸ್ಕಾರ್ಥ ತದಲಂ ಅಸಿತ ಶಕ್ಯೈ ದುಸ್ತ್ಯಜಸ್ತಕಾರ್ಥ ಮೃಗಯೂರೀವ ಕಪೀಂದ್ರಂ ವಿವ್ಯದೇ ಲಬ್ಧಧರ್ಮ ಸ್ತ್ರಿಯಂ ಅಕೃತ ವಿರೂಪ ಸೃಜೀತ ಕಾಮಯಾಂ ಬಲಿಮಿ ಬಲಿ ಮತ್ವಾ ವೇಷ್ಟಯ್ಯಧ್ವಾಕ್ಷಯದ್ವ ತದಲಂ ಅಶೀತ ಶಕ್ಯೈ ದುಸ್ತ್ಯಜಸ್ತಸ್ಕಾರ್ಥ ಮೃಗಯೂರೀವ ಕಪೀಂದ್ರಂ ವಿವ್ಯದೇ ಲಬ್ಧಧರ್ಮ ಸ್ತ್ರಿಯಂ ಅಕೃತ ವಿರೂಪ ಸೃಜೀತ ಕಾಮಯಾಂ ಬಲಿಮಿ ಬಲಿ ಮತ್ವಾ ವೇಷ್ಟಯ್ಯಧ್ವಾಕ್ಷವಧ್ಯ ತದಲಂ ಅಶೀತ ಶಕ್ಯೈ ದುಷ್ಟಯಜಸ್ತತ್ಕಾರ್ಥ ಮೃಗಯೂರೀವ ಕಪೀಂದ್ರಂ ವಿವ್ಯದೇ ಲಬ್ಧಧರ್ಮ ಸ್ತ್ರಿಯಂ ಅಕೃತ ವಿರೂಪ ಸೃಜೀತ ಕಾಮಯಾಂ ಬಲಿಮಿ ಬಲಿ ಮತ್ವಾ ವೇಷ್ಟಯ್ಯಧ್ವಾಕ್ಷವಧ್ಯ ತದಲಂ ಅಶಿತ ಶಕ್ಯೈ ದುಷ್ಟಯಜಸ್ತತ್ಕಾರ್ಥ ಸ 
Mataji's What word meaning? Mrgayu Ya hunter Eva Like Kapi Of the monkeys Indram The king Vivyade Shot Labda Dharma Behaving like a cruel hunter Striyam, a woman, namely Surpanaka, Agrita, maid, Virupam, disfigured, Stri, by a woman, Sita Devi, Jitaha, conquered, Kamayanam, who was impelled by lusty desire, Balim, King Bali, Api, also, Balim, is tribute, Atva, consuming, Aveshtayat, bound up, Dvangshavat, just like a crow, Yaha, who, Tat, therefore, Alam, enough, Asita, with black Krishna, black Krishna. Sakyahai Sakya of all kinds of friendship, friendship. Dustya Jaha impossible to give up, up. Tad about him, about Kata, Kata of the topics, topics. Artaha the elaboration. elaboration. Translation Like a hunter, he cruelly shot the king of the monkeys with arrows. Because he was conquered by a woman, he disfigured another woman who came to him with lusty desires. And even after consuming the gifts of Bali Maharaj, he bound him up with ropes as if he were a crow. So, let us give up all friendship with this dark complexioned boy, even if we can't give up talking about him. Purport In Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Srila Prabhupada explains the meaning of this verse as follows. Srimati Radharani said to the bee, You poor messenger, you are only a less intelligent servant. You do not know much about Krishna. How ungrateful! and hard-hearted he has been. Not only in this life, but in his previous lives also. He have heard, we have heard this from our grandmother, Purnamasi. She has informed us that Krishna was born in a Kshatriya family previous to this birth and was known as Ramachandra. In that birth, instead of killing Wali, an enemy of his friend, in a manner of a Kshatriya, he killed him just like an hunter. Shri Shri Radha Ras Bihari ki, Shri Shri Sitaram Lakshmanuman ki, Shri Shri Gornitai ki, Shri La Prabhupada ki. <coughs> Sanjay. A hunter takes a secure hiding place and then kills an animal without facing it. So Lord Ramachandra, as a Kshatriya, should have fought with Wali face to face. But instigated by his friend, he killed him from behind a tree. Thus, he deviated from the religious principles of a Kshatriya. Also, he was so attracted by the beauty of Sita that he converted Surpanaga the sister of Ravana into an ugly woman by cutting off her nose and ears. 
Surpanaka proposed an intimate relationship with him and as a Kshatriya, he should have satisfied her. But he was so henpecked that he could not forget Sita Devi and converted Surpanaka into an ugly woman. Before that birth, as a Kshatriya, he took birth as a Brahmana, boy known as Vamanadev, and asked charity from Bali Maharaj. Bali was so magnanimous that he gave him whatever he had. Yet, Krishna, as Vamanadev, ungratefully arrested him like a crow and pushed him down to Patal kingdom. We know him all about Krishna and how ungrateful he is. But here is the difficulty. In spite of being so cruel and hard-hearted, it is very difficult for us to give up talking about him. Srila Vishnu Chakravati points out that the speech of Radharani's is called Avajalpa, as described by Rupa Goswami in the following verse from the Ujjwala Nilamani, 14.192. Harau katinye kamitva dautya da shakti ayogyata yatra shesya bi evokta sova, sova jalpa satam mataha. Saintly persons have concluded that when a lover, impelled by jealousy and fear, declares that Lord Hari is unworthy of our attachment because of his harshness, lustiness and dishonesty, such speech is called avajalpa. Om Ajnanatti Marandasya Gyanan Janasalakkaya Sakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Mukam Karoti Vachalam Pangum Langayate Girim Yatrapatam Aham Vande Shri Gurum Dinatarinam Paramananda Madhavam Shri Krishna Chaitanya Devam Vanchakalpata Rubyascha Krupa Sindhubya Evacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhaktivedanda Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Pastachade Satarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shiva Sadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. In this section, we are reading Brahmara Gita, Srimati Radha Rani, speaking to Bumblebee. In the previous verse, 16, Srimati Radha Rani is uh, <clears throat> talking about diplomacy of Bumblebee, which supposed to have learned from Lord Krishna. <clears throat> diplomacy is very much required for a Kshatriya administration. Brahmana is not very diplomatic. Truthfulness is important characteristic of a Brahmana. Brahmana will be always truthful under all circumstances. Even if the enemy comes and asks, he will be very truthful to the enemy also. <laughs> what to speak of otherwise? <clears throat> Diplomacy means you have something in your mind but you speak something else. <laughs> Diplomatic relation. India and Pakistan, diplomatically they are talking. Inside they have something else. Outwardly, yeah, yeah, we'll do this, we'll do that. Kshatriya, administration, diplomacy is required because he has to do administration. <clears throat> So, um, 
Krishna is one of the greatest diplomats. <laughs> Krishna is greatest in all aspects, by the way, even in diplomacy. <clears throat> so he went as a diplomat, Santi Dhut, to Duryodhana, Kauravas, because there was, you know, indecisiveness how to go forward. Kauravas were not willing to give the half kingdom that they are supposed to give. Pandavas have completed their exile. Ajnanavas, everything is over. Still they said, no, we are not giving. So Krishna said, okay, let me go. Shanti Dhur. Diplomatic relation. In diplomacy, it is stated that according to scriptures, you have different levels of dealing with the person. <clears throat> Sama, Dana, and uh, Beda and Danda. These are the four aspects of diplomacy. <clears throat> In Sama, you try to pacify the person, but try to easiest to think, pacify the person. So Krishna went and pacified Duryodhanarebai. You are all same family, Kaurava dynasty, Kuru dynasty only. And these are all brothers only. Uh, together, why don't you live, you know, just live out too nicely. Accept, let, let Dhritarashtra rule only, they will accept your authority. Live together. Duryodhana, no. First attempt failed. No, no, we will not do that. It's ours, we will rule. <coughs> then comes, Dana, giving up. Say, so, okay, bhai, jo chahiye lelo. Itna, they, by the way, the emperor of Astinapur was the emperor of the whole world. <laughs> whole world. He said, whole world, you are emperor. Why don't you give five provinces? Five provinces means small, small states. Five villages? means giving all the thing minus five villages, huh? that means dana, give, take, take all these things, just give five villages, no. Not even a little bit of land which can be contained in the tip of <laughs> needle, what is that, nothing, zero, as good as zero, failed. Dana also failed. Then Veda, Veda means dividing, divide and rule. <laughs> British are expert in that. Divide. He said, this whole problem is Duryodhana. He told in the whole assembly, this whole problem is this person. He is very adamant. He is so adamant that he wants to become the emperor because he is adamant, not reconciling at all. Dhritarashtra, you should get rid of him. <laughs> Beda. Very much, uh, Vidura was very much in favor of it, getting rid of it. Because he, from the very birth he was telling to Dhritarashtra that you get rid of this fellow. This is a, is a thorn in the family. He will destroy the family. So Krishna said, get rid of him. He should be divided, Beda. That also, Dhritarashtra was so attached, he can't do that. <clears throat> then Danda, punishment. If this is the case, Mahabharat. Kurukshetra is the <laughs> deciding field. Let us decide there, then the punishment. So in this way, Lord Krishna is a supreme diplomat. He used all these things. Mahabharata, sometimes people say, why Krishna encouraged war? I, they didn't know that. He was a Shantidut actually. He wanted to avoid the war. He went all the way. He was begging. Duryodhana, do this, do this. He was not willing. So Krishna said, no, if all these, under all these circumstances, this is the war. So, Srimati Radharani, she is accusing the bumblebee, don't be diplomatic with me because your master is a diplomat, so you will be like master, like servant also. So don't do all the diplomacy, I am not interested, don't come near me. <clears throat> Why? Because your master is so ungrateful. He is explaining how Lord Krishna <clears throat> on the Purnima day of Saras season, uh, in the night, mid of the night, 
he started playing the flute on the banks of Yamuna, <coughs> which was an invitation for all the gopis to come. So, all these gopis, they were doing different activities at home. Some were milking the cows, some were, they had, you know, babies, they were feeding the babies, some were cooking, some were serving the husbands. So, like this, different household activities they were engaged in. As soon as Krishna's flute sound is heard, they actually wanted to go to Krishna. The relatives were trying to stop them, husband and relatives. They could not be stopped. So, um, <clears throat> all these gopis, they came to Krishna on the banks of Yamuna. And uh, Krishna smilingly asked, Oh, thin wasted ladies, this is mid of the night. This forest is infested with, uh, you know, ferocious animals. Why did you come? <laughs> the Stri Dharma is to serve the husbands and the family. Please go back. <laughs> you call somebody, he comes and then say, why you came, you know? Why you called? No, I didn't call. I was only playing the flute. But this play, playing the flute sound is the invitation, huh? Krishna doesn't have to call by words. By means of sound vibration on the flute only, it is an invitation which actually vibrates on the heart and it attracts the person to come. They came actually. Hmm? So, the gopi said, no, 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 we are not going back. Refuse to go back. Hmm. Then he said, okay. Then Ras Leela started. And they were dancing. And uh, Krishna disappeared again. And they were going around to find, in separation, Gopi Gita, everything. And then, uh, again he appears and uh, fulfills their desire. <clears throat> then Akrura comes and uh, takes him to Mathura. Then he tells everyone that I will come back. He didn't come back. He didn't come back at all. <laughs> Instead of coming back, he sent you, Bumblebee, you are, uh, no friend of cheater. He has cheated us. Hmm. And he's so ungrateful. We have given everything for him. And uh, he is indifferent. Indifferent. He doesn't bother about us. They are telling. So, uh, <clears throat> this talking about ungratefulness of a lover in uh, you know, accusing him is classified as Sanjalpa in the scriptures. Vishnu Chakravarti Taku quotes Srila Rupa Goswami in Ujjwala Nilamani described as Sanjalpa. <clears throat> so, in the present verse that we read, <clears throat> uh, Srimati Radha Rani is. Uh, discussing about Lord Krishna's previous lifetime. Not only now he is like this. Previous lifetime he is like that only actually. A DNA may hey, I continue say it is coming like that only. Not something new actually. He is like that only in all in his you know different uh, appearances. <clears throat> so in the purport Srila Prabhupada's explanation from uh, Krishna the Supreme Personality of God it is quoted. So the <clears throat> first one is that the ungratefulness uh, and hard-heartedness in the previous lives. How do they know but? So it is stated that they didn't know on their own. They were told by Purnamasi, the grandmother. Purnamasi said, this person, you know, previous life he was like that. Previous to that, he was like that. So they heard from people. Hmm. Reliable source. It must be true. Why they will lie? <coughs> so now he is in the community of Vaishyas. Previously, he was born a Kshatriya as Lord Ramachandra. Hmm. So um, when he was playing the role of Ramachandra, he killed Wali. Wali by hiding behind a tree or bush. He didn't 
directly fight with him. He didn't face him. But he, there was a fight going on between Sugriva and Wali. The whole story is Ramayana. So, Lord Ramachandra, in his search to find Mother Sita, he made an alliance with Sugriva on the advice of Gandharva Kabanda. So, Sugriva was on exile, he was out of the kingdom. Wali threw him out because Wali and Sugriva were brothers. And uh, Wali, when he was having a fight with one Mayavi, he went into the cave and there was a fight going on. And Wali told Sugriva, you wait at the cave, the entrance of the cave, I will finish him and let us not both go inside. And he waited for one year. Wali didn't come, no sound of Wali also. So much sound of this Mayavi. Mayavi means uh, you know, illusory, you know, one who can create illusion. Maya. Sugriva thought maybe Mayavi killed uh, this Wali and blood was coming out from the cave. Maybe let this Mayavi not escape. He closed the you know, entrance of the cave with a boulder and he came back. And uh, the ministers throned him, coronated him as the king of Kishkinda. Whereas Wali was not dead. Wali was very powerful. Huh? It's very <laughs> Wali had a boon from Brahma that whomever he fights face to face, he will get half of his strength, 50%. 50% unka mil gaya. Then apna strength bhi hai na kuch to hoga. Even if it is, whatever it is, even if it is one person, fifty one ojaga to jada hai na. So in that way, nobody can actually uh, defeat him. Unchallengeable, very powerful. In fact, Wali killed this Mayavi, when he came to the entrance, he said it is closed. But he was so powerful, he broke it open and came. When he came to Kishkinda, he saw Sugriva sitting on the throne. Then he threw him out, get lost. <coughs> So, in this way, uh, Sugriva was an exile. Where to go? Anywhere he goes, he will go and beat him. But there is uh, only one place known as Rishayamukha, where previously when Wali was fighting with a buffalo demon, he killed a buffalo demon and he threw him. And when he threw the demon, the blood from this demon fell on the ashram of uh, this Matanga Muni. That Muni cursed him in these four miles radius, if this person, whoever did this comes, he will become stone. Wali avoided this four radius place in this entire universe. Other than that, he will go anywhere. So, Sugriva thought this is the place to stay because he will not come and destroy. <coughs> so, Lord Krishna made an alliance with Sugriva. Sugriva said, unless I get the kingdom, how can I help you? I will help you to find. But then I am already poor guy, you know, <laughs> he's sitting here. I cannot even go outside this actually. Wali any time may come and attack me. What to do? Wali has to be killed. Lord Ramchandra said, okay, go and take your, pick up a fight with him, I will take care of him. Are you sure? Uh -huh, sure, sure. First round. They were fighting both and they are looking at, sometimes what happens? Amongst monkeys, they can understand who is what, like uh, Chinese, you know. If you see, everyone looks like, you know. <laughs> we can't differentiate who is this, who is that. Same thing applicable to Chinese for the Indian, huh, by the way. Amko isa nahi lagta hai. But unko lagta hai kya sab ek hi lag raha hai karke. So for monkeys, among them they will distinguish. Cows, among cows, they know who, cow gives birth to a calf, you know. Actually, the mother cow knows which calf is her calf. Huh? They may be all looking alike. And calf also knows which is that calf's mother. Huh? They know very well. Hmm? If far as it looks like all are like cows, all are like calf. No, they, they are distinct. So, for Ramachandra, who is playing the role of a ordinary human being, Maria the Purushottam, you can't distinguish, they don't know, they are looking alike. Then uh, he didn't shoot Wali. And uh, Sugriva was almost defeated. He ran away again, came back. He said, Are, what is this? You told me to pick a fight. And I went and no, you didn't do it. 
अरे भाई आई कैन डिस्टिंग बिटवीन यू टू यूर लुकिंग आ लाइक अगेन गो रे वेट अ मिनट एक बार हो गया वापस क्या नहीं नहीं दिस टाइम टेक इट फॉर ग्रांट पुट या गार्लैंड आने चलो ये पैंट के रहो इसको निकालना नहीं है देन आई नो दैट दिस इज सुग्रीवा नेक्स्ट डे अगेन पिकड ऑफ द फाइट लॉर्ड रामचंद्र शॉट एंड एरो बाई नॉट फेसिंग वाली बाई हाइडिंग दिस इज इन फॉर अक्षत्रिय वन हेज टू फेस फेस टू फेस यू कैन डिफीट द एनिमी नॉट बाई हाइडिंग दैट इज नॉट द युद्ध धर्म फॉर अक्षत्रिय सो वाली वॉज फैटली इंजूर्ड फेल डाउन एंड ई वॉज स्पीकिंग टू रामचंद्र वाई डिड यू डू दिस आई डेंट कम टू अटैक यू मंकी इज क्वेश्चनिंग रामचंद्र बाई द वे मंकी इज क्वेश्चन वाई डिड यू शूट मी This is I heard Ramachandra means supremely righteous, very religious person, emblem of morality, huh? ethics, all kinds of thing. This is not ethical. How did you do that? Monkey is questioning. <laughs> <clears throat> so Ramachandra replied. king bharata emperor bharata bharata is sitting in ayodhya we are representative of bharata we are royal order surya vamsi we are supposed to actually promote virtue and punish the sinful wicked and you are talking like you are righteous you are wicked <laughs> the younger brother is supposed to be considered like a son but whereas you threw him there was a mistake of identity so he came back thinking that you are dead but when you when wali came immediately sugriva said that you occupy the throne i will serve you he didn't say that i am the king you get lost no he said no you see it but he didn't accept get lost threw him out that is not right and sugriva's wife he actually cohabited with him with wali 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 cohabited with sugriva so that is not allowed so uh, lord ramachandra said death is the punishment death is the punishment according to neeti shastra for a person who actually uh, cohabits with younger brother's wife neeti shastra so you cohabited with sugriva's wife so you are to be punished the king is supposed to give the punishment raja unka kaam is a supreme justice is the chief justice people can go to the king for the justice and king has to give justice to the person who is aggrieved if the king does not give justice he will be implicated <laughs> administrator king is not a, a position of <clears throat> no knowing that i am holding such a big position it comes with the responsibility if a person is sinful a person is wicked he has to be punished that is the duty of the king if the person is wicked you know about it you don't punish him you will be punished so he said i am representative of bharat i am a kshatriya i know that you are wicked death is the penalty i shot an arrow at you then okay you can shoot an arrow that's fine but then why uh, no you are hiding and doing that is not in, in, inappropriate kshatriya goes for hunting so when he is hunting an ani you are animal don't climb equal footing with the human being animal can be killed like that you are an animal i am a kshatriya i am a human i can do that that is allowed a kshatriya is allowed to kill an animal by hiding by the way so i am not no crossing if another person is a human being kshatriya then he let Face to face, you are not an human being. You are animal, so animal killing is not a problem. So in this way, even though externally it may look like Ramachandra did something not according to the rules of the warfare, it is justified by Lord Ramachandra himself. <clears throat> so here, uh, Sri Mati Radha Rani. he is mentioning about how 
in the form of Ramachandra, Lord Krishna killed Wali inappropriately. <clears throat> but actually, it was appropriate. Then, Srimati Radharani is talking about <clears throat> how Surpanaka was disfigured. <clears throat> Surpanaka came to Panchavati, attracted by the beauty of Lord Ramachandra. She assumed a very beautiful form and she said, proposed, you accept me as your consort. A Kshatriya actually can accept more than one wife. It's allowed. It's allowed. But Lord Ramachandra took a vow of Ekapatni Vrata. Only one wife I'll accept. So, Lord Ramachandra did not want to accept the proposal of Surpanaka. He said, Actually, I'm already married. If I marry you, so you will have one co-wife in the form of Sita. So, managing with co-wife will be difficult for you. And jokingly, Lord Ramachandra said, but I am my brother, he is not married, by the way. He is also handsome. <laughs> so, why, why don't you propose to him? You just want a husband, you know. You are not very specific. You want a husband? I am a little boy. She was innocent. <laughs> she, her mind is not fixed, by the way. She didn't say, no, no, I want you. She said, okay, it's going to go. It's going to go. It's going to go. She went to Lakshman. Lakshman could understand <laughs> Ramachandra's mood. But also he could understand this foolish woman. So Lakshman said, actually, I am in the forest to serve Ramachandra. I am servant. Right? I am serving Ramchandra and his wife Sita. So you get married to me. You are servant's wife and you have to also do service. To whom you have to serve? You have to serve Sita. So why you want to become like servant? Ramchandra is joking with you. You go back to him only. <laughs> it is better to be co-wife than be a servant of the woman. You know, kya hai? Equal, co-wife means equal stature. Eh? Servant means, you know, stature hai nahi. She said, ah, this is also right. She said, <laughs> So Lord Ramachandra was not accepting the proposal. Then she thought, she thought, because of this Sita, only I am not getting my desire fulfilled. So Sita ko katam karna hai. <laughs> so she wanted to divorce actually Sita. Then immediately Ramachandra said, line cross ho gaya, isko thik karo. <laughs> so Lakshman cut off her nose and ears in Nasik Panchavati. <laughs> cut off, disfigured. Bleeding, she ran away. <clears throat> so here, um, uh, Srimati Radha Rani is telling, a woman coming to a man and proposing, and you punish her like this? Kya hai? <laughs> she is taking the woman's side. Women, this is women's party. Uh, so, how you punish like this? Hmm? So, uh, <clears throat> here, an interesting thing is that the punishment to Surpanaka was given simply to save Sita, who is an expansion of Radharani, by the way. Sita is what? Radharani is the source of all the Lakshmis, including Sita. Radharani is the source. So, Ramachandra actually punished Surpanaka in favor of Radharani in the form of Sita. Hmm? So, but still, Radharani wanted to accuse Krishna. Why did he punish? He is a hard-hearted person, externally. <clears throat> and then, Srimati Radharani discusses about uh, Lord Krishna's Appearance says, Brahmana boy, Vamande, 
previously Kshatriya, Uska Paila Brahmana. So it is like from Brahmana, Kshatriya, now Vaishya Bhangi. <laughs> Bali Maharaj picked up fight with the demigods and uh, he was badly defeated. Sukracharya, his guru, saved him by Sanjeevani. He revived, he's almost dead. He revived him. And then uh, he performed Viswajit Yajna. By means of this, he became so powerful. And then again, Bali Maharaj went to the heaven. And uh, Brihaspati, the guru of the demigods, said, He is having the full power of support of Brahmana. You cannot defeat Kalikardo. All the demigods, Indra vacated the place. Bali Maharaj occupied the heavenly kingdom. But then you can't be Indra without performing hundred Ashwamedha Yajnas. So, Sukracharya said, do Ashwamedha Yajnas. Hmm. Sukracharya <coughs> advised him to perform Ashwamedha Yajna. In the meantime, Aditi was, Aditi, mother of the demigods, hmm. very upset. All her sons became jobless. So, Naukuri said, Nikal diya. Lay off kar diya. Obviously, mother was very upset. Her husband, Prajapati Kashyap, advised her to perform Payovrata Yajna. After performing Payovrata Yajna, the Lord himself appeared and he agreed to become her son, Vamana Dev. So, Vamana Dev went to the place known as Bhrugukacha on the banks of Narmada where uh, Bali Maharaj was performing his Ashwamedha Yajna under Sukracharya. This Bhrugukacha is nothing but Baruch. Baruch, eh, na? Baruch is Bhrugukacha on the banks of Narmada. <coughs> so Vamana Dev appeared as a very dwarf, very attractive brilliant like millions of sons millions of sons appearing you know it will be very attractive everybody stood up extraordinary person very you no know, short very beautiful and very brilliant and uh, holding kamandalu and uh, chatti and you know umbrella and uh, came and uh, kshatriya's duty is to actually when a brahmana comes he has to <coughs> receive him Offer him a nice place, worship him. So Bali Maharaj worshipped, washed his lotus feet and took the water and drank the water, took it on the head. And then <clears throat> he wanted to please him by giving charity. Charity has to be given also. Please, ask whatever you want. I am performing Ashwamedha Yajna. So you have come to this Yajna. Yajna cannot be completed without giving charity to a Brahmana. Please ask whatever you want. <clears throat> So, uh, Vamana Dev said, uh, <clears throat> I want in charity from you three paces of land. Only three. Bus. I am Brahmana, satisfied with whatever small thing I need. I need only three paces. Shukrachadu, three, what is it? You are so small. Itna, itna, itna chota hai pair. But three paces, itna bhi nahi hoga. I am so big, I am... Uh, Having the heavenly kingdom. What is this? Ask more. He said, no, 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 I am happy. Sukracharya, no, ruko, 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 boy. This person is Vishnu. Unka saam nahi bol raha He will take everything. He doesn't need three actually. See, this is, the Brahmanas, they were very intelligent. They know what is happening. He doesn't need three, Baba. You refuse. Withdraw. Because Shastra also says, under circumstances when you are in danger, when you are joking, when you are acting in the welfare of others, you can actually decline your promise also. Shastra. Shastra is variegated. You have scope for everything in Shastra. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you have to know what is your goal and what you are expected to do. There is a scope. He could have declined it. According to Shastra, it would not be wrong. 
But then he said, what is this? I am coming in the dynasty of Prahlad. And what will people say about it? This young Brahmachari, if he has to take everything, if he is anyway going to take, if he is Vishnu, let him take, let him give it and uh, that way I will be known. So, he said, okay, take it. And uh, Vamanadev occupied with one feet, you know, one feet, you know, entire lower plant system, he expanded. With second step, he occupied the entire higher plant system. Everything was occupied in the Vishwarupa form. No space left. Vamanadev, in the form of Trivikrama, asked, where is the space for third step? You said, no. So, because he has not fulfilled the promise, punishment has to be given. Garuda was called. Garuda immediately brought the rope of Varuna and bound him. Bound. Like a, Radharani is telling, like a crow. A crow, you know. Insignif- crow is an insignificant bird, you know. The crow is bound like that. He bound him and punished him that because you did not fulfill, you are not supposed to be here. Go to lower planet system, Sutala. Hmm. And you be there. So Radharani is telling, Hare, you went and asked in a very cunning way, three paces, and you occupied two paces, everything. And then he said, Bali Maharaj said, third pace, I don't have anything, you put it on my head at least. Even though head is also occupied by the way, still. Some solace, some space is there for third step. If you occupy the whole universe, your head is also occupied, you know. You are not outside the thing. You are inside the universe, everything is occupied. Still, he has Atma Nivedanam, gave himself. Everything he gave, put on my head. How did you punish him like the Radharani's question? How did you punish him like a crow, bound him by the rope of Varuna? You are very, very bad person. <laughs> you punished him. So, uh, in this way, <coughs> Srimati Radharani is talking. And one thing interesting here is that, even though you are very hard-hearted, even though your master, she is actually talking to the bumblebee, even though your master is hard-hearted, very cruel person, ungrateful person, then question can be asked, why you are talking about him? No, we cannot give up talking about him. <laughs> On one hand, <laughs> they are very unhappy, expressing that they are unhappy. On another hand, they cannot stop talking only. They want to talk again and again. That is the internal mood of attachment to Krishna. Internally, they are attached. Externally, because of mood of separation, they exhibit the external feature of anger. <clears throat> so Srila Vishnu Chakrati Thakur says that this is Avajal. In this verse, Avajalpa is described by Rupa Goswami in Ujjwala Nilamani that jealousy and fear and de- no one declares the lover, Lord Krishna, is unworthy of attachment, though they are very attached, expressing about the harshness, lusty and dishonesty, harshness in dealing with Wali. Lusty in dealing with Surpanaka and dishonesty in dealing with uh, Bali Maharaj. So these three qualities, Srimati Radharani is describing and uh, telling that Lord Krishna is unworthy of uh, friendship. So, <clears throat> like Bumblebee is being discussed in this portion, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was performing his pastime in Puri, especially the <coughs> concluding parts, Antya Leela, once Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was on the full moon day of Vaishak, Vaishak month in the Jagannath Vallabha garden. <coughs> so nice breeze. It's like, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he saw the garden, it appeared like it's a Vrindavan. Already thought it is Vrindavan. Nice breeze, cool fragrance was coming. And uh, the devotees, Ramananda Rai and Saruddha Goswami, they started reciting the Gita Govinda verse. Hmm. Intimate pastimes of 
Lord Krishna and Radha. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was dancing. When he was dancing, he saw in front of a Ashoka tree, Lord Krishna was standing. So he thought, oh, Krishna is here. So, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to embrace Krishna. Krishna is there. And from Krishna's body, very sweet fragrance comes. Very sweet fragrance. Very special fragrance. So that fragrance was filling. And he went to embrace Lord Krishna. And Krishna disappeared. <laughs> Again, Krishna appears and gives some pleasure and when you want to have more, it disappears. What is this? Ungrateful. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu fell unconscious. And the garden was filled with this fragrance. Even though Krishna is not to be seen, Krishna's fragrance is filled. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, like a bumblebee, bumblebee usually, when fragrance comes, the flower, the fragrance is coming. So wherever fragrance is coming, the bee is going and sitting. Along with the fragrance, nectar is also there. Those flowers which does not have fragrance, they won't have nectar also. Honey nahi milega. Kagaj full hota na. You won't find any bumblebee sitting there. Fragrance nahi hai, honey bhi nahi hai. The more fragrance, the more nectar. Hmm? So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it was described that like a bumblebee going from one place to another place. He is going near, looking, thinking that Krishna is there. He is not there. Moving around and around like a bumblebee. <coughs> So, it is stated that when a person exhibits such kind of behavior, like Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you can't apply the logic of the material world. It is beyond logic. Divyon Mada, like a madman. Madman, you cannot apply logic, right? Madman means uh, real man. <laughs> Crazy person, no? He will talk irrelevant things and then you cannot say, that, why you talk like this? He is a madman, no. That is material madness. But in the same way, divyon mada, un mada is madness. Transcendental madness also you cannot apply logic. But that is a transcendental logic you will apply. Whereas normal material madness, no logic you will apply. Transcendental madness, transcendental, you have to transcend this logic, then that logic you will apply. So in this way, uh, <clears throat> the question can be asked, why sometimes the gopis, Srimati Radharani, feel the separation and then sometimes she is enjoying the association also? So it is nicely explained by His Holiness Gaur Govinda Swami Maharaj that like boiling the milk. Suppose, if you have a full pot of milk, full pot up to the brim, and then put it in the stove and try to boil it. When the boiling point comes, immediately it will overflow. If you don't want the milk to overflow, generally what people do in villages is that they put some straw on top of the milk, straws on top of the milk. On top of the milk straw is there, then the milk will not overflow. It will boil, it will not overflow. But because of the foam, milk foam, it is on the top, you can't see the actually the straw. It is there already. That is what is stopping the overflow of the milk. Now, um, it was explained uh, nicely, <clears throat> ah, by Srila Gaur Govinda Swami Maharaj that the more and more boiling this boiling the heat is the heat of separation when the more and more heat is there then sometimes this straw comes out and you know you can see actually only for a while after that it goes down goes down so in the same way ah, most of the time, uh, you cannot, the acute separation, the acute separation, when the separation is acute, you don't actually see, <coughs> they don't, the gopis, headed by Radharani, they don't know Krishna is actually the 
supreme personality of god they don't know because of yoga maya is covering that is the straw is below the foam you don't see you don't know they don't know as as you don't see the straw they don't see krishna as god yoga maya covers so that they can actually associate with krishna dance with krishna do everything with krishna when the separation becomes more when the heat becomes more in the milk then that heat pushes the straw to come out when the straw comes out then they see that hey this krishna is like this actually now radharani is talking about krishna was ramachandra vaman it is like straw just coming outside the milk that time they see this person is actually you know so and so as soon as immediately it goes down then they forget about it <laughs> <coughs> no no he is our lover <coughs> it is again explained by shri la gaur gon sai maharaj that this knowing about krishna as ramachandra vamana it is not their knowledge <laughs> they don't know it is somebody else's knowledge for example garga muni said that he is as good as narayana pournamasi has said you know he was ramachandra vamana and all so it is explained that it is borrowed from other ideas like you borrow some uh, ornaments and dress suppose when you go for a festival or marriage marriage so everyone comes with all kinds of jewelry actually some of them they may not own it actually <laughs> some of them may own it actually many of them they will borrow the jewelry and put it in are kaisa jayega thoda acha dalna hai chalo rent me lena hai jewelry rent me milta hai wo bhi nakli bhi ho sakta hai they put it and use it for some time and give it back so in the same way like borrowed dress or borrowed necklace so the idea of krishna's identity He is borrowed from Pournamasya, Gargamuni. That that repay remains only for little while, like a straw comes out of the boiling mill. Immediately, it come goes down when they understand their position. So in this way, <clears throat> what actually uh, Radha Rani is talking about is known as aparavichar, apparent consideration. apparent in that apparent consideration it looks like krishna is a very bad person but if one actually does tattva vichar real truth then he will know that krishna is all good hmm? when krishna was blamed that vali why he was punished by illegitimate means it is actually helping vali to clear his sins and he is sinful actually so krishna actually helped him to clear the sin by killing him by it may be surgical it's a surgical strike <laughs> it's a surgery on his sins removing the surgery it's a tumor cancer he removed because of which he actually went to heaven otherwise he would have gone to hell it's helping him plus ramachandra said okay next time you come as an hunter you can shoot at me so in krishna avatar when krishna was to wind up his past time the same vali came as an hunter ramachandra shot an arrow like an hunter so vali became an hunter and he thought krishna stole as a rabbit and he shot an arrow and the and the arrow stuck lord krishna's toe by means of which what krishna has done in ramachandra avatar is neutralized he gave the opportunity also neutralize karo chalo bhai so in that way there is nothing illegitimate about it and shurpanaka also it is not that he disfigured so he gave an opportunity shurpanaka came when krishna avata she came as kubja ha uh, hunch back woman kubja and uh, she was attracted to krishna and she actually uh, no the sandalwood pulp krishna entered mathura she served sandalwood pulp krishna said i will come to you later and then krishna goes to her by the touch of krishna she becomes very beautiful and she becomes satisfied so what she could not satisfied 
in the past time as Ramachandra, he actually fulfilled it in the past time in uh, pa- no Krishna Vata. It is not that he just left it like that. And Bali Maharaj, even though it appeared that he punished him after taking away everything, that was a befitting judgment for him because he was not supposed to rule heavenly planet, not qualified. Qualification nahi hai. Unless you have completed 100 Asumedha Yajna, you cannot. And you have said that you have already done an irreligious activity. To rectify it, you have to be removed. So he removed him. Not only he removed him, he sent him to Sutala and made Sutala more opulent than heaven. Bali Maharaj wanted to become Indra. He said, okay, next Manvantra you become Indra. Gave him the benefit. Until you are there, until next Manvantra, Lord Krishna said, I will stand at your door, make sure that nobody will come and disturb you. Lord is standing as a doorkeeper for <laughs> Bali Maharaj in Sutala planet. So in this way, not only it took, he gave him also what he wanted. So in this sense, here <clears throat> we are uh, discussing in this verse about Srimati Radhika describing about Lord Krishna's diplomacy, ungratefulness. In fact, he was very grateful and he was uh, only making the fire of separation to grow more so that when Samboga is there, it will become more tastier. And he was not harsh with Wali, he benefited him. He was not punishing Surpanaga, she, she was also benefited in the next life. And he was not dishonest with Bali Maharaj, whereas he benefited him also. So in this way, we are discussing about how the Chitra Jalpa, the imaginative talk by Srimati Radhika in the mood of separation. And in this particular verse, Sanjalpa and Avajalpa, we have discussed. There are ten categories, two are in this. So with that, we see that externally, even though <coughs> Srimati Radhika appears to be accusing Krishna, it is all because of her attachment for Krishna within the heart. Internally, she is very attached. Externally, she is talking all these uh, descriptions. We will uh, stop here. Any questions or comments? Hare Krishna. Uh, thank, Hare you. Krishna. Uh, thank you so much for the wonderful class. Um, Ruji, uh, I have one, one question. Uh, initially, uh, you started with the Duryodhana. <laughs> so, uh, in Duryodhana part, so uh, you said uh, ki Duryodhana, uh, uh, Duryodhana do not, do not wanted to give uh, even the five villages. So, we have also heard that uh, the Krishna is sitting in, in his heart. So, he wanted to give that particular land, but uh, Krishna doesn't uh, allow him to give, even though... Uh, and one part is, uh, Lord Krishna came as uh, Shanti Duta. In ad- other part, we also see in the uh, in, uh, uh, another pastime, in a childhood, uh, cow ha- uh, Krishna has protected a cow, uh, Bahula one pastime in a bahula uh, bahula so in that uh, krishna has changed the heart of a tiger so if looking at that constraint uh, uh, with the past time so why krishna doesn't has changed the heart of uh, even he, he he can do anything so have, why he has not changed the heart of duryodhana in a other way and does not allow uh, to give him uh, uh, not un- that everything is end up in the war See, there is a natural tendency. He is, from the very birth, envious of Pandavas. From the very beginning, he was trying to eliminate. It's not, it happened just like that. He was always feeling that, even though he was the son of Dhritarashtra, who was elder, because he was blind, he was denied the throne. Whereas Pandu became, 
and because of which pandavas are entitled for it so he was always feeling why you know, what is my mistake <laughs> ये मेरा भाप अंधा हो गया करके मेरे को डिनेल हो गया क्यों सो ही वॉज ऑलवेज फ्यूमिंग इन साइड सो दैट इज इज नेचुरल थिंग इफ कृष्णा इफ ही वॉन्टेड ही कुड हैव ही कैन चेंज एनी बडी बट इफ ही डिड इट देर आर टू थिंग्स वन इज इट विल बी इंटरफियरिंग विद द फ्री विल ऑफ दुर्योधना यू हैव टू नेचुरली टेक डेसन यू नो फ्री विल कैन नॉट बी इंटरफियर्ड विथ राइट ही कैन हेल्प एज अ विटनेस ही सपोज बी विटनेस ही इज नॉट सपोज बी एन इंफ्लुएंसर He is within the heart, but when that living entity wants a particular type of direction, then can he can influence? He didn't want. He didn't want. Forget about within the heart. Physically, Krishna is asking. Being influenced within the heart is for the high level people. For common man, physical vaha. Krishna came all the way to him. What is necessary for him to come as Shanti Dut? He is supreme personality of God. He denied. so krishna did not want to interfere with the free will of duryodhana that is his nature actually why he will interfere with the nature plus krishna wanted mahabharat to happen because he has a larger plan yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyuttana madharmasya tadatmanam srajam vagam how it will happen actually if he influences so he left it like that neutral He he did not make him to be envious. You know that much he is not doing. That is his nature, not interfering with his free will. That's all. We can't blame Krishna for that. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Very uh, inspirational class, Prabhu. Uh, in the case of Bali Maharaj, you are mentioning. Uh, actually we see bali maharaj is uh, mahabhagavat devotee of lord and how he come uh, conquer the demigods and this uh, some contradictory ha <coughs> contradictory points look so such past times all there. contradictions are apparent <laughs> bali maharaj is mahajana for atma nivedana that is after bali maharaj washed the lotus feet of vamana dev drank the water took it on the head he got purified and then when he decided to even disobey the order of his spiritual master because this person is vishnu let me give you making a decision these are the things which constitute a person to consider him as mahajan and then telling that put on my head these are the things previously he did fighting with indra so uh, maha jano yena kada so panda let me go and fight with all my superiors <laughs> that we don't have to follow so there was always a enmity between demigods and demons they always keep fighting so let us not go into the detail so he in this fight because what happened demigod and demon this enmity is there Well, churning was done together amrutu was taken and then amrutu was only distributed to the demigods demon did not get it. this fight is going on so in this continuous fight bali maharaj was fighting with the demigods and he occupied he was defeated then these people got defeated it's going on like that so those things you have to leave it like that so you don't consider he is going to become mahajan why is doing like that we have to take the lesson what is befitting for us to follow in the in the form of helping our devotional service so under all circumstances krishna should be served we should give everything to krishna that you should take and apply it that's all previously what he did so many things that is not to be in that way all the mahajans if you see there are so many things some are many most of them are contradictory so we cannot apply the mahajana rule for every activity of the person that is not possible you can apply for everybody actually so what is important here is that bali maharaj even though his guru said you deny he didn't deny so that we have to take it why for krishna for krishna consciousness 
So under all circumstances, one should actually be ready to serve Krishna. That we should take. Ready to give everything to Krishna. Then Krishna will give whatever, what, more than whatever you need actually. <laughs> That Krishna, if we take care of, if we do our duty, Krishna will do his duty. But Krishna doing duty is something extraordinary. And he will be overwhelmed. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, thank you very much for your nice elaboration of the three pastimes. You very nicely explained that Krishna, in all the three cases, even though apparently it was an injustice or some dissatisfaction was there on the part of the receiver, but finally Krishna rewarded them in the next life. For Vali also, he gave the justice and for Shurupanka also he gave the mercy as Kubja and uh, um, Bali Maharaj also will be becoming the Indra in the next Manvantara. So, uh, this gives a nice lesson to us that yes, Krishna may uh, punish us or may give some uh, something which may not be palatable to us, but then he will reward us also. But then in this cases, the reward came in the next life. <laughs> We want, we are, at least I am not so patient to wait till the next life. How we can develop that patience to bear apparent injustices or something not palatable to us? <laughs> it doesn't have to be next lifetime always. Right? So, Krishna dealing in these situations are very extra, extraordinary examples. We cannot assume to, be, go, assume to be going to be the next one after these personalities. They are personal associates having the personal, you know, dealing of Krishna. For us, <clears throat> we have to take lessons from that how we can conduct our devotional service. Right? So, in this way, <clears throat> Krishna rewarding, it is not only rewarding in the next life, for example, Sudama Vipra, it's not next lifetime, same lifetime. Different cases, different way he reciprocates. Sudama Vipra, without even asking, he rewarded him, same lifetime. So Krishna can choose either to reward in this lifetime or next lifetime, it is up to him. And we have to do our job, Krishna will do his job. So for whatever you want in this lifetime, if it is going to be not distracting a person from devotional service, he may reward it here also. Su Sudama was rewarded, but then he didn't become, uh, you know, overwhelmed with the uh, no wealth and became, you know, uh, no captured by Maya. Even though he was so wealthy, he was always thinking, oh, Krishna is so great, how did he do that? Wealth is there, he is not enjoying the medical thing. He was thinking about Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Because Krishna knew that he will be not deviated, he rewarded him. Suppose we want something. And if that something is going to deviate me, me, he may not reward. Then you don't blame him. Are itna kaam kiya hai, kuch karta nahi hai. Kya admi hai? <laughs> you have to take it from the revealed scripture that Krishna is always your well-wisher. Period. There is nothing, something else. Apparently, whether you appreciate it or not, doctor may do some surgery. He is doing it for your benefit. You can't blame doctor. What kind of doctor? Yeah, I have so much pain. I do this, I do this. Lamba wala darat ko nikal nikal hai, chota wala darat diya hai. So lifelong suffering to stop, he may give you, you know, one hour suffering. So you should appreciate. Even one hour suffering I don't want if he say, kya karega bhi? <laughs> it is due to ignorance that we determine what we want. Ignorance. So if one comes out of the ignorance, he takes everything that Krishna gives as the blessings. 
He thinks that even if Krishna wants me to suffer, let me suffer. If that is what? That is the level of advancement. Level of advancement. So we cannot compare ourselves directly to one of these characters that we are talking about. They are far beyond our expectations. What we are expected to do is we learn the lesson from that and apply that in our own devotional service which will be in a different level by the way. Wherever we are in, we take the principles, not directly imitate or directly try to, you know, consider ourselves to be like that. We cannot. So we take the lessons from all this thing. But what is one thing is clear is, either this lifetime or next lifetime, we, because we should be also qualifying to go back to God already, no? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Cheto Darpana Marjanam, cleanse your heart. Going back to God means your heart is completely pure. Clean. And if I have not done that, I have a desire when you think that he is going to benefit you. Why we have to be worried about when? Our job should be, he will be benedicting you 100%. Whether you, you want that benediction now or not is up to in, in your hand. Cleansing your heart. You do your job of cleansing the heart and your heart is 100% pure, he will benedict you now only, you know, why you are worried about it? Because you don't have next lifetime in this material world, you know. <laughs> For a person who has purified the consciousness 100%, he disqualifies to be in the material world. So it is in your hand to disqualify yourself so that it will not be in your next material body, it will be in the spiritual body, that is also next lifetime by the way. <laughs> Go back to God and enjoy the association of Lord Krishna. That is next lifetime by the way. But not necessarily to be in this material world next lifetime only. If you don't want to be next lifetime, then you have to do the job of purifying your consciousness. So you disqualify to get a next lifetime, so you are safe. So in this lifetime only you will come and give you rasgulla from the uh, kitchen of Radharani. What is the problem? Problem is here. We are disqualified to taste the rasgulla. How you can expect to be eating the rasgulla from the spiritual world? If we qualify it, even now you can get rasgulla. That is up to Krishna. Seeing that you are qualified or not. Our job is to make us qualify. Remaining. Don't even worry, Krishna will give something or not. Don't even worry. He will give more than what you deserve. Because he is giving from his standard and we are expecting from our standard. A beggar is expecting from a billionaire whether this fellow will give 10 rupee note. He doesn't know that the person doesn't give 10 rupee note actually. He gives only 2000 rupee note. He says, what are you thinking about 10 rupees? Oh, nikalta hai, das hoga, das hoga, kam hoga, das hoga. Pink hai, are? Itna diya? Are, unka standard, it is insignificant for him. So you want something insignificant from your standard and he is giving insignificant from his standard. That is why whatever Krishna will give is always more than what he can even imagine. We have to do our duty. Our duty is to purify the heart by chanting the holy names Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Grantara Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Srila Prabhupada Ki Itai Gaurap Premanande